to Bella. Welcome to Bella Uncinetto. I'm Christina, and I'm so glad that you're with me today. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. Please uh, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and a comment. Um, the YouTube algorithm is really looking for those thumbs and those comments. Um, and one easy thing that you can do for creators is if you like the content, share it out. Share it out um, on Facebook or if you have a community tab. But look at this amazing video I just watched, right? And that is always one free way that you can help um, any content creator, no matter what platform it's on. You can always share their things out to other people and let them know that you've enjoyed it. Uh, today we are going to do Label My Library with Crochet Little Heroes. Uh, now this book has been a bit of an adventure for me. Uh, in that I have done a pattern in this book already. I've completed one. I completed um, Maya Angelou here. Uh, and I gave this to someone as a gift. They asked for it. Uh, so I did it. But I thought I lost this book. So I bought another one. And then I ended up giving the other one away. Because I found my book. I ended up giving it away um, in, in a video. So I'm not doing that today. It's not a giveaway video. But this is just a Label My Library um, crochet little heroes. So the way that Label My Library works is I go through the book and I pick out a couple of things that I would like to make. And then I uh, show you all. And you let me know um, what you think about the things that I chose. And you let me know uh, if you would make it, what order you would make it in, and what order you think I should make it in. So, I cannot say this last name of, of the, the writer of this book um, and the designer. It says that they're a professional emigurumi designer from Budapest, Hungary. Um, and they have uh, their Instagram and Etsy shop here on the back of the book. So, I have already done a book look on this. Uh, so, I'm not going to do another one, but I am going to show you what I would what I would like to do so the cool thing that I like about this book is that it tells you um, it kind of gives you a um, a table of contents so I don't have to go like flipping through I can be like I would like to make these people and go straight to them um, all right so the first one that I would like to make and I'm doing this in order of the book not necessarily in the order that I would do them in it's just this is the first one that it comes to so I should have prepared my sticky notes a little bit ahead of time but sorry for the ripping sound but they're big sticky notes and I don't want to use one per page that seems excessive so this first one is um, Frida Kahlo uh, I don't know when you'll see this, but while I'm filming this, it is Hispanic Heritage Month, and I have had a lot of students very interested in her story, especially some of the fourth and fifth graders. Um, so I've been talking a lot about Frida Kahlo lately. Um, So the next one that I would make uh, would be this lovely Jane Austen. So before I uh, even moved to North Carolina, I lived in Arkansas and I was an English teacher for a very long time um, with high school students. And while I was in college um, getting my English degree, I did a lot on Jane Austen and the feminism that you find in Jane Austen. So I took some deep dives into this, <laughs> this author's work. Um, so I would love to have a little Jane Austen sitting with me, um, either in my classroom or in my, in my yarn library. So one of the things that I really like about this book is I'm not afraid to show the pattern with the picture because this is just what you would need. 
so I don't feel bad holding the whole book up because I hate bending the spines of books. It just makes me want to cry. Every time I hear that somebody bends the book backwards, I'm just like, no. But I love, I love the, the little Jane Austen. And then who would I make next? Hmm. Let's see. This would be my third option. I would make Gandhi. Uh, this Gandhi is the uh, the person the the quote that I say at the end of my at the end of my videos, right? Be the change you wish to see in the world. Um, that comes from Gandhi. So I would be remiss if I did not. Um, choose him as one of my options uh, because I truly think that what you put into the world is what you get out of it. So what you believe that you're seeing, what you believe is happening, uh, tends to come, come to pass. So if you're constantly thinking that things are going to be bad or go wrong or you kind of do some of it, not all of it, but you kind of do, do some of it to yourself. Uh, so it's hard to try to maintain a positive attitude. Um, but I do try, I do try to stay calm and, um, just be peaceful, um, in my interactions. It doesn't always work. Trust me. It doesn't always work. There is definitely a side of me that, um, is not peaceful, <laughs> but, um, I do, I do try very hard to be mindful of the decisions that I'm making and the things that I'm saying out loud. Um, lots of things that are said in my head and I'm like, you probably don't need to say that out loud. <laughs> Not because it's necessarily bad, but because I have a very sarcastic and ironic sense of humor and these days sarcasm is, is seen as a red flag and Maybe it is. I don't know. But I don't ever mean anything mean by it. It's just funny to me. Um, maybe that's the way that I was raised. Maybe that. I don't know. I have no idea. But um, being peaceful and kind is how I'm choosing to move forward in my life. So Gandhi is a big influence on that. Because if I want to... If I want to see that change, I need to be that example. Um, and that goes for how I treat people um, around me, how I consider other people's actions and all that other stuff. So that was a long rant about Gandhi. <laughs> but uh, just to go over them again, you have uh, Frida Kahlo. Oh, that shows the pattern. Let me find her, the beginning of her thing. Let me move that to the front. I said, it doesn't show the pattern. And then the picture that I opened to shows the pattern. So this is Frida. And then you have Jane Austen. And then Gandhi. So, let me know in the comments below what order you think I should make them in, and then uh, what order you would make them in. Uh, and uh, you've seen a couple of the other little heroes on, on the book, but there are, um, I must say 14, maybe more. There are 20. It says that on the front of the book, doesn't it? Read, Christina. Uh, 20 Amigurumi dolls. Yes, there are 20. So um, between this and the book look, I've definitely shown um, many of them to you. I will link the book look uh, 
at the end of the video if you would like to check that out as well. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think and let me know who some of your heroes are. Who inspires you um, in your life? Maybe it's someone in this book, maybe it's not, but I would love to know more about uh, who inspires you, even if it's not like someone that's well known. It could be your mom, it could be your neighbor, it could be one of your grandparents, it could be anybody. Let me know who inspires you. As always, be well, be safe, and be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Ciao, bella!